Hey guys, it is Wednesday morning and I'm just loving this view. The ice, you now the snows are melted right now. It used to have like full of snow. I don't know how many inches we've got. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching my first video this year. And I have comments as well that they're happy to, to like they're happy that i'm creating video and i'm so glad because yeah it feels really good to have people tell me that and i will reply to your comments when i get a chance later today but um this is really wonderful since i've started um acrylic painting i i always like look at the clouds and try to imagine how it looks like and how it would be how to translate it into um, um, paint and brush and the brush strokes because I struggled creating clouds and yeah um, I just want to thank everyone and yep. anyways it's a very pretty view there I'm so annoyed with myself because I misplaced my project I have the pattern I have the threads but I can't find the project itself so i don't know um i'm organizing around my house it probably carry it with me and it's a very small cloth and i couldn't find it so um as soon i have to really show you that because i i won't be able to stitch in that project because i couldn't find it and so i picked this up um this is the project that i'm gonna work instead of that um bare stockings uh ornament and then the, I need a project to work on and then yeah this is actually the one of the projects the other one is the, the last tupper this is the other one to that is not put to into that temporary storage this is like still on the frame so this is gonna be my next project that I'm gonna hoping to work on at least a few minutes today you can see guys this is a mess this is the box I'm gonna send to my family in the Philippines there's are I'm sending old clothes of mine and stuff like that doesn't have to be new because they are I really appreciate my my um um uh, pre-owned clothes so this those are the kits that I don't need it just used to be a full full of kits and the pro projects that I started I don't want to stitch it anymore so um or I've already put half of them on this thing so this I don't want to stitch anymore and all these kits so I tried to fit them in on this box, big box, heavy box, that full of clothes, shoes, um, kitchen stuff, and canned goods that I would send to my my family in the Philippines and the cross teacher for my sister because she actually wanted to. She's a cross teacher, but she doesn't have access to any um, cross stitch supplies um, in my hometown. She used to stitch when she was in Manila, and it's just everything stops. And when she moved to the hometown, she left her cross stitch supplies in manila with um her daughter or something like that but yeah she asked me if i could send um some of my kits and it has to be kits because it has to come with fabric and floss and threads so she doesn't have to go out and order them and so yeah um this is actually put a lot of them there and and several stuff that i don't really um i don't want to stitch I don't need I still have a lot though, so it's okay it's okay to give this away and this is something she would like I think I have to make sure it's gonna put in the box because I can't fit everything at once right now but yeah so all those all, all these old kits that I've um, managed to gather I don't know where I got them you know I buy when I see them that was before when I was like shopping crazily shopping for cross stitch and cross stitch supplies and I'll just, when I see one, I buy it. But yeah, these are things that I think she would enjoy. And I'm so happy to get rid of them here in my house and send them to the Philippines. And if I need a project when I go there, then I have a project ready for me. So that's it. Hi guys, I am back. This is another day. I am back to just show you what I'm working on right now. It's actually... um wanted this project done so i think i want to focus on this and yeah i'm working on his wings and so far 
I'm really slow. I think it's my eyesight, but and also I can't find enough time to stitch. But I will really try every day. Also, um, I hate this um, floss organization that I have for this project. So put I put it in kind of a plastic bags, and I don't like it. So <clears throat> I'm hoping to transfer. Um, know where it is. Oh yeah. I'm all hoping to um, transfer all the floss into a into these kind of tags that I've made. So, this I'd really I've I've been doing this tear drops or not tear drops but drops floss drops since before and um, I really like it. So, I'm hoping to transfer all the floss that I have here to here. It's easier to look for the colors, and yeah. Um, we'll have well, we'll have snow this Sunday night and Monday, and they said it's gonna be six to twelve inches of snow. So I hope I'll get I'll spend more time cross stitching. But this is actually what I'm working right now, and of course my painting. So let me show you. Last night I that's this is my painting. That's actually my picture. I printed it on a paper. It, this is my picture that I um, edit as marker. It, there's, I have an app. It came with my phone, actually. It's a photo app that I can change the style. So I changed it to a marker style because it's easier for me to copy. I can't do a real, realistic paint, painting of a person yet. I don't have the skill for that. I've just started painting in november last year so um, when i changed the style to something like this it's a more of a cartoony kind of not showing a real color like this is turquoise but it's actually a black cat uh, turquoise hair and it's more of a yellow skin tone around her face so i changed my picture i did a selfie and changed the picture into like that and then that's what I was trying to copy on my acrylic painting here. So I, I, I at first I was really struggling. I attempted, this is my third um, self-portrait thing using this kind of setup. Um, I attempt, this is my third attempt to copy my face. And so far I like it. It looks like it's closer to what's in here. Um, yeah, but I tried my best. I'm still not, I'm still working the hardest part of me. Creating a self-portrait is the nose, the mouth, and the eyes. And if you messed up with that, then it could really change the look of that. It will be a different person. So right now, I'm close. I'm not like perfectly at copying the entire look, but I'm close. So I need to do some highlights here. But I am. I'm also going to. I uh, still don't know how to attack the cat though. But yeah, you will see. At least she, she's a little. She's like. 95% done and I could not copy the lips so I don't know I don't want to more um, adjust more but that's what I'm I am actually doing I'm on uh, my um, breakfast nook table so I can um, put all my this is not all the colors that I have I have some colors somewhere but this is what I'm using currently with the projects that I have right now so this is a perfect um, place to stitch as well also I wanted to um, this was this painting I did a few years ago. It's very, um, this is before I followed the tutorial. This is just um, a very basic skills of mine that I haven't really, I just, all I did was just to paint and, and follow. There was a stamp drawing there and I wanted to update it. I wanted to update, like put real far, uh, not real far, uh, far looking thing. Cause this one is flat. There's no, you can't see the far. And, um, I've learned from the tutorial that how to make it like I've done the the uh the wolf and the cat. So I've already corrected this with highlight before it was flat. You can't really tell the curve. Now after the tutorial I've learned how to do highlight and shadow. And that's what I've been doing. I still have to fix the rest. So um yeah, that's all for my painting and and cross stitching. So that's my update for today, I guess. That's Charlie over there. It's Charlie, what I'm holding here is Charlie. So see you guys. I am in my kitchen and I just want to show you this. 
this is actually a um a kind of a needle point um um let me show let me show you it's a kit five dimensions and it should look like this and it is a, a kind of a cruel cruel is that how you say it so this is the stitch part they already painted the uh, the face and then uh, then you just have to stitch the rest of the face this cape <clears throat> some of the dress this one is already painted so all you have to do is just to trace like all the stitches that they rec required and i really like the design but i don't really like to do the cruel like yarn stitch stitching yarn is not fun for me so <clears throat> i for some reason i found a youtube i subscribed to her because of her embroidery stuff but she showed um she actually painted a sunset with coconut trees and then she painted the sunset but she embroidered the coconut trees and the birds and the sun so it gives me an idea like i I can paint on this one and then just embroider a little bit of something so I don't have to embroider everything so I can paint so what I did is I ordered a fabric paint from Amazon and I want to try this this is an experiment I don't know if this is gonna look good but I'm going to paint I'm not going to follow what's in here she'll she, she, she'll be colorful of course except for the wings but I'll color her dress and stuff like that and then the embroidery part is only to decorate to add dimension to this design so i just want to share this with you guys because this is it is really making me so excited so this is a new start new start new project and i'm hoping that it will turn out nice that i won't end up throwing it away so this is actually purple it's not showing but that's dark or purple and then i'm they that's kind of a shadow and then the other part of the cape will be this lavender so wish me luck guys after a few hours of doing this while watching and with an e movie on netflix i decided to just give it um, you know um that's it for tonight i need to do something else so i just want to show you before i put this not really away away but put this like away from my cats because it's fabric so you know cats they just love to, you know, stay on every fabric that they could get. But yeah, um, this is what I've painted using my fabric paints. I, I just, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. So instead of using fibers like yarns and floss in all of this lavender and purple here, I painted it. Although I messed, I messed up here. This one is supposed to be the dark purple and it's just it's okay it works whatever and then the white is really not covering the um they stamped the lines there but i can fix it with floss so this one here this one is actually painted but no floss but for me it's too light it's really too light so i put um the blue ones and i think the dresser suggested to use the floss the light blue I think I'm not going to follow that. I think I want a different color, kind of a red, because I want her very bright. So red or something and, and adorned. So what I'm planning is I'm going to put beads on this. Like all this here, I want to put beads or the, yeah, we'll see. Um, We'll see what I have on stash. And then... Like here, I think I'm going to put beads as well and some French nuts. And here, I think I'm going to paint this white and silver. And then outline it with a metallic, cranic metallic thing. And we'll see. It's going to be a multi, whatever, painting, embroidery, beading in one project. And I'm so excited. I'm so happy that I did not throw this away. I'm meaning donate it. Um, I have... I have several projects, several kits that that are like this, cruel and cru cruel is that you see, <laughs> and an embroidery like this, and I wanted to do the same thing. It's faster, 
painting it and then decorate embellished it with with embroidery and beads and so this is really nice i i like it okay that's it for tonight hey everyone i am here in my star star staircase um yeah as you can see i have my webs x stitch logbook still empty and um, i wanted to start recording on my inventory today my i've decided to just do 10 whips at a time because i don't want to be overwhelmed just like what i did before i attempted to i actually not attempted i put them all in these bags and it's really very much overwhelming because i tried to do it like all day <laughs> and never get done it gets so you know i don't want to do it anymore kind of so i think um 10 projects a day not every day whenever i have a chance is um sustainable doable for me and not overwhelming for me so what i'm gonna do here are the 10 first 10 project projects that i picked from that bin in no particular order or anything so what i'm gonna do is write them down and then i'm gonna show you also what they are and i'm going to i i, I have a label a shipping label the one that is a lot bigger i'm hoping the sticker is um stronger and i'm gonna print um the title on that label and put in these bags some of them have labels some don't this one so i want to replace those with a nicer label and numbers i put the numbers as well so it's easier for me to um pick or looked for it from this list to the bin whenever I wanted to pick a project or if I want to do the 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 wheel so rotation wheel so let me show you I'm holding the phone I don't know if I okay guys my first first one first whip is the cozy cove so this is from the Dimensions Get the Gold Collection. And let me show you what I have done so far with this project. So, yeah, this is what I've done so far. Can you see it? It's not a good lighting, but this is the only place I can work this thing. So I'm going to list it down. Whip is from this book five seasons of quilts so this is the the one that i have i picked first it's the holiday quilt and this is my progress the center quilt so yeah closer that's my progress this is actually from i got it hershner's it says hershner's and this is um who designer ursula michaels it's from ursula michaels so most of you are familiar with this i'm pretty sure so they have one two three four five it's like like that third one is from this magazine um cross stitch the cross stitcher is really old magazine it is 2007 and i this is my design that I picked and started. Christmas warms. What is it? Warms the heart. And it is designed by Gail Busey. Busey. So this is my progress. Oops. No, it's not upside down. It's my progress. Yep, just that. I still like it, so I'm keeping it. Fourth one is this lavender dress. This is a, a kit I got from um, um from AliExpress. So yeah, so it is. And this is what I have done so far. Let me see if I can show you much better. Sorry about the lightning lighting here. It's not that bright 
you should put like a and okay yeah so the fifth whip that i have is this i'm not i i am aware that this is like after researching the title for this one that this is a dimension skit and it's um a copyright whatever but yeah i got this from aliexpress as well it's a kit but it's printed on the fabric kind of kit so i'm not really sure what is the name for this original name for this but for them it says it's a twilight in foreign country doesn't seem like right but yeah i i think it's a printed one so here's my progress i only stitched the lady i can't see <laughs> just the lady have to cover the back yeah just that you can't really see what i'm showing you guys but let's just stitch the lady and it's really fun it's, i kind of enjoy it you know and i it's not as pretty as the original though but yeah i still like this so i'm keeping this most of my um aliexpress kits with printed on the fabric kind of kits most of them i sent it to the philippines but this one i'm keeping because i like i still like it but, mm. so the sixth whip is from this book it is donna cold cooler stocking collection and i picked this design this is actually for me And it's a very busy stocking. But I really like it. A lot of work. A lot of work for this stocking. So this is what I have. This is my progress. To the bottom part of the stocking. Yeah, I stitch and um and back stitch as I go because that's how I actually do th do things cross stitch and back stitch as I go. But especially for this one because it's a very busy pattern and and it, it will be confusing if you just back stitch when all the stitching are done. For me, I'd rather just stitch one corner, a few squares, and then when I complete like the chair, if I complete stitching the chair and the surrounding stitches around the chair, then I can just do the back stitching right there. So the seventh whip is this. This is called Violin Tool. This is designed by Light Unicorn Designs that I got from Etsy. So this one I find I for the six items that I've just recently listed here. I don't have the start date because I don't have that information. But for this I wrote on here the start date is 8 27 2021. So that's last year and this is actually um <clears throat> she can see it is a violin shape but it is like a park with two lovers here and this part is the reflection of the park park and it's shaped into a violin so that's what i have so i pick a theme for this is the violin i kept on changing like maybe this is a landscape maybe this is a violin but since i bought this pattern because of the violin shape i'll go for um kind of a theme for music like i want to gather music designs as well because i am a reason i am oh, i am i love music i play i play i'm interested to know a lot of instruments and for now i'm currently doing a private lesson for um piano you know i want to learn stuff i'm not a master of all. i'm not a master of one instrument but it's okay i don't have intention to perform or earn money from performing or playing music it's for my own um enjoyment my own therapy my own whatever so this is um the pro progress what i have done in this project it's actually a quick stitch this is stitched on eight and count ida and it's really a quick stitch because you know there's just i don't know it feels to me like it's a quick stitch 
I hope to, I guess, work on this. You know, when I got tired of hope, I want to work on this next. That's why I'm so glad that I'm doing this inventory because I, for some reason, this is just not, I forgot about having this whip. So now I know that I have this whip. I need to stitch on this. My eighth whip is this. It is called What Child Is This? This is from a very old magazine. It's Cross Stitch Christmas 1991. So, and this is my, oh, that's the back. This is my progress. It's the face of Mama Mary. And that's really it. It's so nice. The ninth whip is this. It is called Better Not Pout. This is by Shepherd's Bush. Shepherd's Bush, yeah. And this is a kit. I got this uh, on bargain. This came with a lot of cross stitches that I've purchased from that man. Um, but I don't really like the fabric that came with it. Here it shows like a lighter tan kind of fabric. And what the fabric that came with the kit is kind of a gray and it's really dark. It's really odd color for Christmas. <laughs> I'm not really sure. It, these are the threads. So it uses um, a silk, silk threads. So I have the silk threads and I just don't want to waste. I don't want to waste things. So yeah, that's all I've done. And it's so it's dark fabric as a Christmas theme, don't you think? But you know. I'm still debating on working on this. We will see. I don't think I, I'm not sure if I have enough threads though. We'll see. But yeah. Tent whips whip that I want to show with you today is a stockings, the Christmas stockings. It is called Curious Cats. And right now I have the photocopy. I have the book somewhere. It's I guess it's with the other, you know. The stocking book, the donut cooler stocking book that I've showed um, with you with the cozy Christmas stocking. I guess it's from there or else I have another book. But for now, I can't show you the picture of the finished product because what it should look like. Because I have just the photocopy. But um, this is my work in progress. I've... I don't like the, the kind of linen it's so see-through and but then I've already put so much stitches on it I don't want to waste this I don't want to waste this project yes yeah, it looks nice so I decided to continue so I was going through before this I was going through all the projects that I don't want to do um, that I feel like you know I'm not happy stitching with it, so I want to get rid of it. But this time, I think I still want that. But that's all. That's the ten whips that um, I am listing on this notebook. At the same time, I am going to print the label. And um, yeah. So this is what I have, and I know it's not pretty looking. It's easier actually for me to just write it down than put in the computer and yeah it's easier this way and of course either all in one notebook and this is gonna be my reference for the entire year i've updated also my january thing pretty much good at it so yep and that's all i have for this week i'm sorry i'm so tired i'm just finished work and i need to take a nap i'm sleepy but i have so many things to do like i need to put air in my tires you need to finalize my box to the philippines boxes to the philippines i need to figure out how to lo load it well how to like load it up without asking someone i don't have anybody boyfriend is back to his place so i'll see you again thank you so much for watching i haven't responded to the comments yet because i've been so busy and but then i record video every now and then just to be able to complete to come up with a video this week i'll see you again next time and show you again another set of 10 whips so if you want to see them please um, subscribe keep on watching and see you again in my next video bye guys